I just need a brief glimpse of your small testicles. No, no. <laughs> and then I'm okay. No, then no. I, I feel like I've accomplished something today. No, no, no. I don't know how you rusty chaps behave with one another. But there's no <laughs> getting a glimpse of my testes this night, no, small or otherwise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, don't ask, don't get there. Nothing gets, nothing came. And sometimes <laughs> if you do ask, you still don't get one. That's true. Are you going to go for that wee? To, uh, yeah, in a bit. I'm going to make this first, don't you? Okay, okay. I need to shut this because, you know, we could be talking about something incredible, something from out of the mining of our minds. Well, obviously, right? you're going to have to come up with that, I think. No, we can both do it. You might do You've already created some gems, but you Hello. knew how, how people perceive others is a wonderful thing. When they glow in finery of chuckles. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know the ignorance of man. Cap you know one. I sought to teach her loveliness. The very notion of loveliness is lovely. For loveliness is the loveliest thing. And when one is lovely, one sees the universe as lovely. And one knows that the lovely universe is eternal, potentially, and even if it's not, we've got a long way to go until the end of Calcutta. But the point is the loveliness. The loveliness oozes its loveliness on a daily basis, and without the loveliness, we have very little else. The loveliness is all that there is. The loveliness is what keeps us alive and shining, deluged in loveliness, such loveliness perpetually granted to one and all, free of charge by the universe. And we sit here under this loveliness, this sky, this divine realm, this atmosphere which could be sentient. And this loveliness is so lovely, we thank you for the painless loveliness, and we thank you Creator of all things, husband of Mother Earth, knower of everything that we don't. And the loveliness just performs itself ubiquitously and traditionally. And if the loveliness were to cease or to stop in any form, way or shape, then the loveliness would come to an end and that would be a terrible malediction for everybody. For we are all granted the boon of general loveliness. For it is loveliness that we support and we fight for and we die for and we live for and we are. For we are the loveliness. And anything that's out of the ordinary according to the rules of loveliness is thus to be seen with a questionable eye and wondered about its true intentions. For loveliness is the true way of the Lord. And you can take that to the bank. Eighteen minutes, eighteen minutes. I just deleted a whole bunch of longer that we did before. I need to put it right as well. Yeah, because I don't, you know, because that we've got to save time. I mean, this is going to be a big discussion. No, it looks great, trust me. I know it looks off key. It is totally off key, but. It's looking at the back of your ponytail. No, it's not. <laughs> unless you, no, you might be right, but you're in the shot, trust me. You're in the shot. Well, so that sounds very. Thing, but like let me just make sure again, because I can't believe it either. No, you're totally in the shot. Quite white. Quite white. Yeah, it is quite white. Okay. It's a good shot as well, because it gets us both in. You're in focus. Oh, really? Not me. Okay. okay. Right, the nature of reality. Are we rolling? Yes, Beautiful. I think so. Can we double check? <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, I should make sure. No, I can't believe yeah, my, my head is in the way of your visage. You can. Okay, I'm going to go back a bit just to make sure because you look fine when I'm not in the shot. But when I get in the shot, I don't know what it looks like because you're not. You're there. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? 
it makes perfect sense. I think we should begin, Nick. <laughs> we are, right, the nature of reality, go. Mm. So, the nature of reality. Yes. Um, how is it, how is that? How is that for you, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you define the nature of reality via my eyes? So, is it based in a religious... Through uh, a religious lens? Through a scientific lens? Both. We are quantum now. Yeah. Let me, let me, let, all right, this is, this is the story, this is the story I want to tell you, okay, I want you to get your head around this. Yeah, you yeah, have a story. All right, all right, you want to know about the nature of reality? Yes, that would be, be ideal. Okay, in 2017, I prayed to God, because I felt quite ill, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I legit, uh, my prayer consisted of the following words. Please, God, help me. That was it. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, pretty straightforward. So I, I, I called him God. I yearned to the Lord God. The name God. Please, God, help me. Okay? And I did it. I didn't just pray like lip service prayers in the top of the mind. Like, oh God, you're the top of the mind. <coughs> Am I playing devil's advocate, by the way? No, no, I want, this, I want the people to know this story. It's you true. Can if you want. No, no, I just want, you, you hear me out, but I want people Carry to on. know this story is true. Carry right? Mm -hmm. And you inspired me to make me believe that it could be done and brought to the masses who need salvation. So is this more of a religious teaching more than it, the, the, a discussion on the radio? And we can do what we like in the visual replicating fields. Have you seen Minority Report? Uh, I'm not sure. With Steven Spielberg, by Steven Spielberg with Tom Cruise. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. That is a great film, mate. What was you saying about the nature of reality? <coughs> well, the nature of reality. <laughs> oh, yes, saying the prayer, the prayer. Yeah, that's right, yes. Right, so I said, please, God, help me. Yes. Right, now get your head around this. I will. I am. Okay. I open my eyes. Mm -hmm. The air shimmered before me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I felt and sensed with all my knowing being a particle fall out of the ether, the thin air, yeah. right, and enter my heart. And I'm not allowed to play devil's advocate. Go for it. But I will not accept evil in my house. <laughs> but you are allowed. You are allowed to Nick, ask me questions. Nick is an expression. <laughs> All right. A bit like the four corners of the earth. Yeah. Now you have proven me you're quite nice. <laughs> you may state, Is this mine or yours? No. Oh, everything I have is in my local vicinity here. Yeah. This. Who's is this then? That's yours, my friend. Oh my god. So, yeah. So you had a quasi-religious experience. It wasn't quasi. It was full on supernatural. Pseudo. <laughs> it wasn't sorry. pseudo at all. It wasn't pseudo or quasi. It was full on supernaturally real. And that's not the only one I've had. I've had at least Super seven. Supernatural. Supernatural, which is natural. Which well, ev right. everything's of nature because life is nature, well, right? We're trying to discuss the very nature of nature, Nick. And I'm talking about the supernatural. You see where right. I'm coming from? Yeah, but all right, so I see ah, the supernatural as the fifth dimension. Okay. Do you know what I mean the by the fifth elephant. dimension? The fifth elephant. It's got nothing to do with the fifth elephant. I'm not Hindu. So, you, in, 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 as far as you're concerned, yes. as far as you believe and are aware and as far as you know with your very being, that was a real, that was very real and that was something that happened externally of your, con of your personal construct, the things that you're capable of constructing with the afflictions you may or may not have. Ah, now you're being a little bit funny. <laughs> no, I'm not being funny, I'm being critical and I'm questioning the experience that you had. What do you know about the reality of schizophrenia? I, look, I didn't want to bring it up. But I it was, think you've already... I the, think, the horse is shot on that. I okay. think that it has to be addressed because it could be a factor. I'm not saying it was then. I'm just saying what it. is schizophrenia? 
So again, we're talking about the nature of reality. <laughs> yes, but what is it? Who knows reality? Who has a monopoly Precisely. on reality? So, but you prefer... Can you define reality? Um, I can have a good go at it. Go on then, try. <laughs> what is reality? It is your... He's struggling. <laughs> and don't worry, none, none of the greatest philosophers of all time have managed this one. Yeah, I mean, I'd just be generic and I'd be obvious in what, I'd be cliche as well and, and, and obvious. And like, well, what, what are you going to try and e emulate? I, I would say, I'd just be practical and rational and say it's your, your most immediate observations of your surroundings and your perceptions of such and how you interpret that and interpret it, interpret it, how you interpret that. <laughs> I can't say that word very well. Uh, but that that's also based on your upbringing and, and your parameters and your conditioning and your and your programming. So yeah, again, it but you're making me a singularity where we're a world. I wasn't picking of, of you. Well, I felt a little bit intimidated there that I was being singled out as having my own identity of reality in a world where everyone polarized has their complete individual knowledge of reality. Just because you've had this been labelled something doesn't mean that some experiences you've had haven't been genuine and meaningful. Thank you. It's like, and it's also like saying, but how just because you... I was on drugs does not negate the reality of the supernatural I was witness to. But how... Do you concur, sir? But how... Yes. I think so. And how, but how do you distinguish between different episodes and because I've had my own fair share of supernatural paranormal I right, what's your best supernatural story <laughs> I don't, yeah but look I've had a few sort of really strange experiences give me a good one <clears throat> that's pretty dark <laughs> not dark go supernatural what get, get, why dark I don't well, dark. I've had some sort of like strange sleep paralysis and sort of um otherworldly sort of experiences, yeah. That That's where fifth been, dimension. Where I've been convinced that I've been, excuse me, where I've been awake and sort of the, and sort of conscious and lucid, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And strange shit has gone down, dude. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. That's some really strange shit. Like what? Like, I, I felt like I've been sort of attacked externally from, from forces. And I was nearly killed by a succubus once. Precisely what I mean, yes. Precisely down that dark path that I'm talking about. Uh, do you know why? It's because, do you know what, do you, do you know one of the <laughs> commandments? There's a couple of reasons why you could have been attacked uh, by it. Like no, there was a very particular reason. There was a very particular reason. <laughs> Real or imagined? No, because I was being religious, but I broke one of the holy laws. Oh, uh, what did you do? One of the ten commandments, right? What is another word, a way of saying... Thou shall not murder Nick. No, I've never known another one. Dude, no, no, we spoke about this. This is good, man, this is good, man. Okay, sorry. All right. What, what is another way of saying, thou shall not covet thy neighbour's wife? Thou shall not commit adultery. Yeah, but what, no, it's <coughs> not quite that, you, that's not, it's not even talking about the physical act. Oh, right. to just look at, observe, it's, lust over. It's, it's a polite way, because the Bible is written in a classy way. Right. You shouldn't perv over your neighbour's wife. It's like you have a wang over your neighbour's wife, right? Because it's bad psychologically for your supernatural mind. I'm, sure, I'm not sure that how Je if Jesus would have put it that way. That's what I'm talking about. The Bible has class. Do you know the word cunt could be Dang, in the Bible? Wank, he would have do, you know what, do you know the word cunt could be in the Bible? Well, yeah, anything could be in the Bible. Anyway. No, but this is deep, man. That times it's been rewritten. This is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it all comes from the same source. It all comes from the same source. Does all, it now? Yes. And language evolves Which is over time. The, the, the Latin Vulgata. Written on Mount Sinai. The Latin Vulgata. Right. Can we go back? Back. Go back? So, it's so, Nick, you see, your version of reality, sorry mm. to attack it and appear aggressive, but your version You're not being aggressive, I like Michael Parkinson. But your version of reality mm. is religious and Michael Parkinson sort of infused. 
<laughs> on Mount Sinai. My, in my, in my version of reality, to, no, 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 no. you've got it wrong. You've got it wrong. You've got something wrong. Was it Moses, by the way, on Mount Sinai? Mount Sinai. With the stone yes, tablets, yes, of the course. Ten yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but so is that your? So is that? That's not the nature of reality. That's like a. It was early days, Buzzy. Early days. <laughs> yeah, but we, if we go back to the scientific quantum reality, you know. Now, this is that's, uh, that's looking at history with, with a, a string theory, with a scientific theory, theory right? M theory, whatever. Yes, you want to call or it. whatever you want Where to call it. Where does your, without sounding condescending, religious ideology fit into all of that? Well, if the, if the particle that came out of nowhere that went into my heart was real, if which that I had actually was, happened, Nick. yes, it did. Because I was there. You could be subjective and objective. No, well. One of those things. All right. Do, do you want? Well, Jesus said, "Where you have two or three or more, you have my my church, right?" Right. So the only way we can prove a miracle is if we pray for one now. If God comes through. What now? Now. Yeah. So you can see. Maybe if we get a result, which we probably I don't know if we will or not. We might. I don't know. It's God. Chances right? are low, aren't they? That's defeatist thinking. <laughs> God doesn't like unbelievers. I'm not dismissing the whole thing. Yeah, but what if it happened? What if it happened? No one's ever done this before. What if it did? So what you want to do on camera? Pray for a miracle. Pray for a miracle. Yeah. Well, it's better than doing a blood ritual over Ouija boards, was it? Or hardcore porn with bone incestuous and mad bitches having been shoved at the them room. from anyway? I know, where do they get them from? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, well, you could do a porn thing, I suppose. No, I'm not doing <laughs> porn, though. I'd rather pray for it's a money miracle. Maker. It's a money maker. Yeah, well, maybe we pray for a miracle and God sends us some hookers. <laughs> no, no. Do you know, I turned down two grand to Straight direct to a porn film. film. Really? Yes. What was the... What was the thing? I don't know. <laughs> it was a husband and wife as well. But I just refused to be part of that sickness. Okay, fair enough. Because I don't want to go to hell for six hundred and a half. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a dark and it's a horrific thing. It's a it's full of fuckery that road. It's hardcore burning <laughs> motherfucking weirdos. Yeah, well, right. So if we're gonna pray for a miracle, we're gonna have to have enough time on the cube boy rational seal vector. I feel like we've gone from. We've got four minutes left. We can pray for a miracle. A polite discussion to actually something quite personal. No, but this is true. Come on, let's try this. Let's try and see if we can... It's an experiment. No one's ever done this before. We've got four minutes. How do Come you mean? Here. How do you mean? Like, is there something that we should be thinking about, though? Get reverent with Rich. your... Reverent. <laughs> reverent with your soul. Go deep into your soul. Oh, my goodness. It's right? Heavy, yes, but what if it worked? Okay, okay, I'll, I'll close my eyes for that. Alright. <laughs> and, and then reach deep. If anything happens, it's mostly on you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on the cover of well, Time Magazine him. tomorrow, mate. Her. What? Her? Who? No, it's, don't forget gender. Go with supernature. Okay, so go on, come on, let's try this, alright? A miracle, right? Please, God, help us. I can feel the pulses in my hands at a very specific level. There is energy here. I'm not saying there isn't. Just remain sceptical. <laughs> sceptical? What are you waiting for? <laughs> when it's not exactly like there's going to be a charging bunch of angels coming through the Did wall. Did you hear the lightning the other night, by the way? Uh, I think I got woken up well, at one point. fucking biblical. Excuse my friend. I, mi- I think I missed it, actually. Yeah, anyway, look, we should do that again. I mean, to trying to, like... Buddy, that was, sort of that, was, that was a one-shot gig. You sort of don't get to pray to God and go, no, fuck that, I do what, take two. He's either there and he's listening or he's not there. He's there. He won't, I don't think you I, look. He won't be caught on camera easily. I know that, but why does God work in the shadows? Why does God work in the alcoves of mystery? 
again, it brings up some interesting questions due to the nature of reality. Is it faith-based? Do you need to believe in the unseen? No, I don't need to, but I, I know it's real, so I... there are unseen forces all around us. Take electricity, that's really dangerous. I live among it. It hasn't bothered me too much. I can tell you some shocking accounts, though. I'm sure if you can read anything and anything in this world to find out your prejudices and your early biases, to, is, is that what confirmation bias is? But you research something you fear to it's get the necessary backup and data. What's it called? Uh, preaching to the choir almost. Yeah, it's preaching to converters. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's very... Uh, it's very... Um, that's the word. You know? Do, you know why, do you know why we didn't get a visual miracle? I don't, I'm not disputing, something strange will happen to me later today. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can rest assured, like, that's something weird. And f Look, I'm not a dis I'm not a doubter. I just, uh, like, you caught me off guard because I have prayed to God before. Yes. And I find desperation... You should always is, pray to God. I find desperation is a great catalyst for change. <laughs> <laughs> Very well put. <laughs> But whether it's from, there's a hidden uh, external force that you could call God, I'm still, for me, Nick, I still have to, I still question all of that. Well, I know what happened to me, buddy. So, yeah, I'm very much on the fence, you know. I can't easily proof it in visual format, as you can see. But I think a atheism is a, is a cult, is a religion in itself. Atheism's you know? horrible, buddy. Yeah, no, I've got well away from atheism, but I will flirt with uh, the idea of God, the notion of God. Yeah, I'm quite flirtatious with him. An agnostic <laughs> is a believer waiting for a sign. Uh, uh, is, that, is that correct? I think so. Are you still rolled about that? I don't know. No. That completely went wrong. I thought agnos agnosticism was... Uh, and I'm knowing. Uh, I know it's kind of like, uh, why? No, I don't know. It's fair really enough, man. It's a quite really rational right. human being. Uh, we are still recording. We've got all that. We've got 12 so seconds left. If you didn't need place another beer, right? No, I, 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 I am an Illuminatus. I have three or four in a stand. And that is just a fact, man. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be offensive. I'm not sure how much you might be more. I know how many I have left, Nick. Have you drunk my beer? You kind of only had one since we've been here. This is my second beer. So you've got one left? Two left. Okay, we'll check how many are left. I think we've got four, which is two each, right? I do have two left, Nick, yes. I'm going to make sure. Do I need to go to Tesco? I need to check. Are you drinking my beer? Just answer me, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I do have two left, Nick, yes. Jesus. <coughs> do I need to go to the shop, Nick? For fuck's sake. Okay, there's two left at least for you, but that means I've got one left, unless someone drinks this, but this is the leftover debris. Uh, I, I, I know I bought four and I'm on my seconds, so I don't know how else to say it. Which is I fine. believe you, mate. Do you I know what? That this is untouched as well. Do you know what? You can have one of my beers, but... No, um, it's not that. It's on the, like the, these are, we were surrounded by these fountains of untouched beer. But while we're on that discussion and on that theme, is it worth us going to the shop? <laughs> more because fun, I, have, more look, I have two and I'm content with my two, but if you're going to drink my two, let's go to the shop. Uh, well, no, 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 we've still got time, so we can hold that window until later. Okay. Alright, let's just chill, let's just relax, let's just regain our composure and our breath. Being on the budget that and I, I am, thought, the yeah. shoestring that I am, I, I reluctant for you to drink my beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I don't want to drink you a bit, but I don't I have, have a certain amount of beers. Yes. I knew that I had two left, yes. and apparently we should have a look in the fridge just to check how many beers stay I understand. I understand. Jesus. Alcoholics, I mean, you just can't take them anywhere. You can take them to the pub. <laughs> True. But they'll probably get thrown and out. And to the off license. Yes. Nick, I slighted your character on more than one occasion. We should start a new recording. You can drink my beer, but if that's the case, we should go to the pub. The off license. The We're not allowed to the pub. By the way, I have to get out of here. When? Tonight? Maybe tonight. Right. right. 
Are you moving? No, the red hot. Just start packing. No. The... <laughs> <laughs> Have you got boxes? <laughs> no, no. Listen, this is also important. the sinks got matter with them. Yeah, I know. That's what's going <laughs> to scare off the invaders. <laughs> Pub, right, you're pub. all right, fuck it. Nick, you've pub. taken the piss enough tonight. You're staying alone. I know I'm pushing alone. it. I know I'm pushing you're, it. You're staying, right? Because I love you, dude. Because I love you. Word. <laughs> you're defending you word. me, nigga. Shh. Silence. <laughs> Can uh, you say the nigga word on the cameras? <laughs> no. You're not going to the chili peppers, dude. Uh, no, but the ch no, yeah, but what if Even he comes to me? What if they attack me? Oh, that's a whole new idea. That's why I need you to stay tonight. As you in? Jeez. If we get a chat, that's a attacked, but that is, dude. What the fuck? I need a warrior beside me as defense. You look at me as a warrior class. Are you not warrior class? Warrior or warrior or warrior? They come much of a much of a W O double R I E R or W A double R I O R. Which one, Nick? The latter. Oh, thank you. Boom, warrior. But will you? There was a struggle to spell those two. <laughs> well, I've been trying. Well, I did try, I succeeded. Well, no, no, you succeeded, you succeeded. Well done for your achievement. Thanks. Congratulations. Two words, I feel they're two different I'm words. I'm glad I'm improving your dyslexia. Two, two similar words mm -hmm. that sound similar back to back. Wow. I know, my mother is a warrior, I am a warrior. But because my mother well, is I a warrior, my warrior, warrior doesn't worry. <laughs> That's, that's, that's good, dude, that's good. No, I'm listening whilst talking over to you. No, no, you're, you're just... What, what the dick is this going on? I'm, I'm speaking over you whilst listening to you. I know. No, I'm, and I'm trying to tell you that I don't want to be attacked tonight by, by the way, who? not chilli peppers. Well, wouldn't you see that as some sort of blessing? Con uh, compliment of sorts? <laughs> Not if they don't they invite feel, me. They feel threatened by your presence, by your... She, they're, she, they're inviting them for a very profound reason to fuck with me. Oh, I find that quite... Unbelievable? Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable is what yeah, well, I'm Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but that's my reality <laughs> right now. They, I find it unbelievable. They, oh, no one it's fucking believes my reality. I, yeah, I, I find that an irrational, narcissistic notion, actually, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. <laughs> Do you not think, Nick? That could be... You don't know the history of Southampton Road. I do not. Clearly, I don't. I don't. I don't. But I think that's She quite, hates me. She hates that me. That is quite a contrived and convoluted... Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A complex, obscure way of getting at you. <laughs> it's Unconventional. A woman. It's a woman. What is it? What? Thinking in different ways. What is it? Is this a... Is, are you, is this, uh, a, 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 was there a romance? There was no romance. Well, how, was it a business thing? It's a pub. So she runs the pub. <laughs> I'm forever barred. Okay. It should be the name of the movie, Forever Barred. Or No Holds Barred. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, I like that. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't think it's a direct personal. It is. Uh, trust me, I know the I know the depths. I of think you're doers. reading. To, I think you're reading between the lines. Bullshit, man! The Red Hot Chili Peppers have always been my thing since 1992. She doesn't know nothing about the Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? Okay. And she bars me from her pub. Right. Okay. <laughs> Never to return. And then invites during my year of sufferance, or well, not sufferance, but weakening the red not chilli peppers to perform so she can serenade and party the world atmosphere but not include me that is such an abuse of power I do think you're reading too much into it or sort of drawing you're, you're joining dots where there's no dots <laughs> that's how I found you're, aliens, brother. You're grasping. The that's dots. how I found I, aliens. I'm not saying aliens aren't real. I'm not saying the particle that appeared, by the way, going back to your original. It's very real. Was not happening because when I sat down with my auntie, bless her, of ill health, the other night, and she's telling me about a string that came from her ceiling, like a, a string, right, just wiggled through the ceiling. Paranormal activity. 
Strange, it's high strangeness, Nick. At uh, high tea. <laughs> high tea? At uh, high tea, there was high strangeness. It was this yeah, yeah, high tea when it came through the, the ceiling. Yeah, pulse guys activity, supernatural paranormal activity. So I'm not saying yours is connected to that or has anything to do with that, but I'm familiar with high strangers. Some members of my family have spoken to me. High strangers or high drangers? High, high, both. <laughs> high strangeness around high drangers as well. And high strangers. Like little fairy folk. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. tend to... The high drangers is like a magnet for the fairy folk, I think. It's, it draws them in. So you can probably think of a cleverer word than me. It's like a, a magnetic... Uh, <laughs> Force, Nick, for the the attraction for, around the hydrangea, hence the high strangeness. Yes, yes. Mm. The philosophy of the welcome is the real. So, where do you think Tolkien got his like? Obviously, not the political side, but his like mythical dragons and dwarves and elves. Do terror. You, do you <laughs> human error or terror? <laughs> oh, terror! Like Nazi terror. Possibly. <coughs> Possibly. <coughs> right, on a serious note, excuse me, do you not think that was a serious note? <coughs> excuse me. Oh, well, that's, that's not good. Uh, on a deeper uh, sort of mythological, myth, mythical, uh, oldie, worldy kind of thing, like, do you not think Dol Tolkien was drawing on, like, Dolph Lundgren? The, no, not him. <laughs> the idea of dragons, right? The idea of dragons. Biblical, is, he was really just thinking that. Do you, do you not think maybe there could have been a time before where these things were a reality? You know, you look not at, far breathing, I'm not too you, convinced about that. I don't know, is he's drawing on some sort of ancient human psyche, you know, some sort of ancestral DNA re remembering. What was the word for that? Uh, like Recollection? A, no, uh, an, ancest, an ancestral. Uh, uh, an ancestral. DNA connection. Anyway, Heritage. It's something like that. Her yeah. Genetic connection. Yeah, something like that. Legacy. Yeah, something that's deeply entwined in our blueprint that goes way back where there was giants, where there was dragons, you know what I mean? Where there? I don't know, I'm just saying, where does why does a human psyche draw on that for fantasy? When we talk about public culture, why do we have flying discs? As the things that are, are, are because they've been seen, but before they and were they're recorded as witness, of course, right? But why are they a certain shape and a certain style? That's certain the ancient technology. The zeitgeist, Nick. Why are the things? Do you, what does zeitgeist mean? Uh, it means I. It means. Um, the ah oh dude, I do know what that means. <laughs> it means the. I just can you give me that? Up? Yes. Yes. Take all the time. Take the German <laughs> translation, I suppose. It's like time, time meaning or something. Uh, yeah, it's like a. Uh, it's the. Uh, yeah, it's the flavour of the month. It's the 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 very good in yeah. English. Yeah. Right. It actually is the spirit of the age. There you go. A lot of what? Vexes. Yes. I know your problem. You do? Yes. Regarding? Your perception of reality. <laughs> okay. You're too fear-based oh. in the system. Yeah. The system is your friend, not your enemy, unless you make the system your enemy, in which case the system has no option but to consider you the enemy. Because you have decided the system, which is an embroiled concept of anyone who is willing to comply to reality and intelligence. The system is corrupt and not fit for purpose. You are part of the system. You are the system. If you fight against the system, then you're always going to see corruption and tyranny of purpose. You have to be the alternative to what you desire, but that still doesn't make you mean you're not part of the system. We have to get along in a coagulated, beautiful, convivial way with people in successful, righteous terms. 
did she make up two of those words? Coagulate is a word. The other one? Well, convivial is a word as well. Okay, cool. Didn't you know that? Oh, I was checking. Have you never heard convivial? Fact checking. Convivial word, word checking. is a lovely word. I'm word checking. My, I, my vocabulary. You have not read enough books, you scary way. It's not as extensive as yours. And it's, and it's, unless I'm you have read a lot of books, but you I don't have, have a, fo a photographic memory. Would you say you have a photographic memory? No, I'm very observant. Can't worry about it, dude. My mum used to say I, she thought I might have a photographic memory. You do probably need photographic evidence for such uh, claims. <laughs> I've made a f I'm, I'm 14 grand in debt to the government because oh, I went back to university yeah, to make a film about Adrian's birthday that I've seen in reality. Do you think I'd do that if I was fucking full of shit? Ah, Ian, I wondered, do you happen to have a star chart by any chance? Is uh, this what you need? Maybe. What do you need it for? I don't know. I don't doubt that you... I know what is... I don't know how to explain it scientifically, but I know that my reality is definitely imbued with, laced with the knowledge of the reality of God. And I don't mean the God of the thunder... Yeah. I mean the supernatural knowledge of a higher power, a being beyond us. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Something, uh, something exciting, something living, real, completely sentient, uber conscious. All knowing, omnipresent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there is something out there, and I do think the atmosphere is sentient. Dude, this could be an ant farm, you know, that in terms of scale, 
in terms of scale, we could be like we could be the life force, the we could be harvest on a soul level. We, this could be a soul trap for a soul harvest for like some sentiment. sentiment. Iron pain. Be it, what? Iron pain. Only because we need a week. Well, go for a week then. Go, go. Yeah, I can't can go, go for you. I wait till I need to wet myself and then I go. Uh, no. Did you wait to the wetting mm -hmm. point? I'm joking, Dad. Yeah, I'm going to go there, <laughs> grab a beer. Oh, well, Harry, Harry, quick. Would you like me to get you a beer, Nick? No, I'm good at that. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think that's the main crisp of the biscuit.